we're back with another craft, and this is going to be a fun one. And I found this on um, Environmental Technology, who makes Easy Cast. Um, I found it on their website some time ago, and now I can't find it again. But I kind of remembered enough about it to, to kind of give it a try. And we're going to make a base out of a sandwich bag. And this is just um, a brown paper bag that you would put your lunch in. And we're going to make a base out of it. So what we're going to do to start with, I've already prepped a little bit. I have taken a paper towel roll and I hot glued it to the top of this cup just because I need it to be tall enough for the bag to fit over. So it'll fit over kind of like this. I don't know if you can see it there. Um, and it won't be touching the bottom. So what I need to do is prep it just a little bit more. I'm going to wrap this entire piece with some cling wrap. And that way the easy cast won't stick to it. So I'm just going to completely wrap this whole thing. There. Now it's all covered with the cling wrap and I'm going to just set it in a box. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the paper bag and we're just going to crush it and crumple it. And this will give it some interesting texture. And this will be a functional base that we can actually put water and flowers in. And then straighten it out and if there's some spots that don't look very crumpled, you can crumple those. And now I'm going to straighten it out and I'm going to place it over the paper towel holder, the paper towel tube stand here that I made. And what I'm going to do, because I want it to kind of gather so it looks, it's not so flat looking, I'm going to take some string and you could do, you know, you could do fishing line, you could do wire, you could do whatever. And I'm going to tie it around here. I don't want to go super tight, but I want it to have some shape. And I'm going to tie that into a knot. And as you can see, I really don't have it very tight on here. And then I'm going to snip off the long ends of the string. And what I'm going to do with the strings, I'm just going to actually put like a pretty ribbon around it well over it when everything is dry. Now that I have it the way I want it and I've kind of poofed it and shaped it, all I'm going to do is use the Easy Cast Resin which I have used many times before and I know a lot of people that internationally are having a hard time finding it and I'm going to link to the website where you can find a directory of um, places where you can find it internationally. But I've already prepared it according to the directions and it's again the easy cast resin and all I'm going to do is use a disposable paintbrush and I'm just going to start painting the bag and it's going to soak into the bag and kind of give it a darker color I'm going to kind of just spread it around and it'll start to drip when I get to the sides, which is why we're working in the box. But you want to make sure you get the whole thing covered and saturated and you, you will be able to tell just because of the difference in the color. And I'm going to show you right now on the top so far the difference in the color. So if you missed a spot, you'll definitely know you missed a spot. So just keep working that until you get the entire bag covered with the Easy Cast Resin. Once you have everything covered, and I took a straw and I blew it over the surface to get rid of as many bubbles as I could. Um, you can use a lighter, but remember you're working with paper now, so it might be a little bit more sensitive, so you want to be very, very careful. Um, a lot of this is going to run down, and in 12 hours we'll come and we'll flip it over and we'll do the inside. And we'll just do a layer of resin on the inside so then it's completely water safe and you can put water in there for flowers and you can use it over and over again. Okay, the project's been sitting for maybe an hour or so with the resin on there. And my only concern is that the vase might not sit very stably on a table after only because peel that off because it's not really super level at the bottom so I don't want it to be kind of kind of want it so I have it sitting on a table so I'm going to take some parchment paper 
And most of the, the running is finished on here. And all I'm going to do is flip it over onto the parchment paper. Now once I have it flipped on the parchment paper, I can adjust it just a little bit more. And I don't want to pull the middle out yet. I just want to make sure that it's sitting fairly straight. And if there's any adjustments I need to make now would be the time to make them. When the bag has dried enough, usually 12 hours, you're going to want to carefully pull out the your form inside. And the plastic wrap will release. It, sometimes it takes a little tugging, but um, usually it will come out okay. Just work it a little bit. And there it is. And now what we're going to do is we're going to mix up a batch of the resin and put it on the inside. And once you've prepared your resin, all you're going to do is just dump it right into the bag. And you want to make enough to be able to saturate the inside of the bag. And then all you're going to do is you're just going to swirl it around until you get everything covered inside of there. Right, and then let it sit for another 12 hours and then you'll be done and we'll have this really, really cool base. So the next day we're back and here's the, the base out of the paper bag. Um, it's been about a little over 12 hours so it's going to need just a little more time to fully cure. But here it is. I mean, it's, you can tell it's hard and it's just going to get harder. And all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put a ribbon around it and then I can add some flowers. Okay, here it is and I'm going to add some pretty flowers and then I'm going to have this beautiful vase. So I hope you like it. I hope you give it a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And you can go to my website and find the directions for this and all my other crafts on there. And that's at www.craftclutch.com. And we will see you next time. Thank you again for watching. Happy crafting. Mm -hmm.